Good afternoon. Welcome. My name is Stacy Bent. I'm the director of the Tomcat Center for Sustainable Energy, and I'm really pleased to welcome you to the third annual Connecting the Dots Symposium. We're really pleased to be able to offer this afternoon an exciting, thought-provoking program examining the interconnections between energy, food, water, and climate. The Tomcat Center, along with Stanford's Precord Institute for Energy, the School of Earth Sciences, the Woods Institute for the Environment, the Center on Food Security and the Environment, reinvention of the nation's urban water infrastructure, known as Renewit, and the Steyer Taylor Center for Energy Policy and Finance have organized this afternoon's session to illustrate how the great global challenges of the century are all tightly linked to each other. These challenges include providing clean, affordable energy, adequate food and nutrition for all, clean water for people and ecosystems, and a protected and sustained environment and planetary life support system. At Stanford, many faculty, staff, and students are working on each of these grand challenges through their research and teaching. Our researchers are not simply approaching these challenges as individual problems, but rather are cons uh, focusing on interconnections and links among all of them. The impetus for this Connecting the Dot series came from one of our most important supporters, Kat Taylor. Kat's interests, like our own, span the energy, food, water, health, and security continuum, and she has encouraged us to share our knowledge of the connections among them with our students, colleagues, and friends from the community. So I'd like to especially acknowledge our appreciation of Kat and her husband, Tom Steyer. We would... We would like to dedicate this year's Connecting the Dot conference to our dear friend and alum, Brooks Shumway, who passed away earlier this year. A close member of the Stanford community, Brooks received her JD and MBA from Stanford in 1984. I came to know her recently through her role as executive director of the Tomcat Charitable Trust, which supports both the Tomcat Center for Sustainable Energy and also the Steyer Taylor Center. She was our guiding light, and I joined Kat Taylor and Tom Steyer in expressing Stanford's sorrow to have lost her, but also our joy in knowing her. So let me just share with you Kat's words. It's so hard to imagine we won't have her wise counsel or cheerful help or wry commentary. She was a very grand lady. She was super smart, scrupulously diligent, and fantastically kind. Never did she lament her lot, but always showed up graciously to meet any challenge. We will really miss Brooks today as she was present at the previous uh, Connecting the Dots and was an integral part of um, these conferences. I also want to express a deep appreciation to Dean Pamela Matson and Professor Roland Horn of the School of Earth Sciences. Pam was a true force behind the initiation of the Connecting the Dots series, and Roland has led and shaped this year's Connecting the Dots event, and both of them have continued to uh, provide uh, important guidance on articulating all these interconnections that you're going to hear about today. So this year's symposium, the Connecting the Dots Symposium, focuses on energy at the center of a web, connecting other crucial challenges. Our speakers come from many different disciplines across the university, and they provide many different perspectives. So they come from economics, law, business, engineering, policy, geophysics, energy resource engineering, and earth system sciences. So lots of different disciplines, but they all share an interest in finding solutions to the world's greatest challenges. And their expertise, in one way or another, all links back to energy, which of course is at the center of our web today. So we are going to begin the afternoon, as you can see on the agenda that you picked up as you came in, with an energy system overview that's going to be presented by Professor Roland Horn. Then we have arranged the program into five different individual faculty talks, each emphasizing a different connection to energy. Each speaker is going to make a short presentation, and then you'll have the opportunity to ask questions. After a short break, we're going to split up into six different workshops on different topics, led by Stanford graduate students and research associates. So you can see the titles here. Um, the topics represented are diverse, provocative, and even potentially controversial. 
So it's all meant to engage you in a very lively discussion. So we encourage you to pick your favorite uh, breakout session and uh, be an active participant in that. So culminating the day, we're gonna bring you back here to McCaw Hall where we're, we'll tie everything together in a closing panel that's gonna be moderated by Professor Margo Gerritsen and featuring Stanford President Emeritus Donald Kennedy, Professor Roz Naylor, and Professor Adam Brandt. And this promises to be a very interesting and lively discussion that you won't wanna miss. And then, we'll end the day with a reception and a special performance by Professor John Krosnick and his Particles Jazz Band, beginning at 5.30 p.m. With that, I want to point out a few housekeeping details. Um, you can find the slides for both the faculty talks and also the student tutorials on the Connecting the Dots website, which is at tomcat.stanford.edu slash ctd. If you go to the Tomcat Center website, you can find the link to it. Um, and uh, the videos of the faculty talks will also be available there on that, on that site. You have access to internet today and you can find the uh, username and password on the handout that you were given. And I also want to point out that this uh, is part of a complete uh, energy week going on at Stanford that's uh, the Stanford Energy Club is hosting. So there, you saw that um, on the slides that were rotating before, there's a, a group of activities taking place over the course of the week, there's still some of them next week, uh, surrounding Earth Day. Okay, so for more information, you should go to the website, which is called energyweek.stanford.edu. There are things like a sustainability fair on Monday and a future energy pitch on uh, Wednesday and lots of interesting speakers coming in that the students have organized. So with that, uh, we'll begin this program with Professor Roland Horn, who will provide a general framework for the discussion of energy systems and their challenges. Roland Horn is the Thomas Davies Barrow Professor in the School of Earth Sciences, and he's also a senior fellow at the Precord Institute for Energy. Professor Horn's research focuses on geothermal, oil and gas reservoir engineering, energy production optimization, enhanced geothermal systems, well test interpretation, and tracer analysis of fractures. And now, please join me in welcoming Professor Roland Horn.